so in the last video I detailed how to make up one of these boards sorry it's quite a long video but that was part of the stage one assembly which is making up one of these so now it's all the wiring basically just gluing all the wires in place um, so I have here um, this is what comes as part of the the parts I'd order so this is essentially just a USB extension cable I repurposed this for two things um, firstly the USB uh, connector that's at the back of the dash and the rest of the cable that's used to because essentially it's a four core cable inside there and that's what I use to uh, connect the buttons uh, for the option select buttons which will go in there and I have 12 volts well it's actually rated at uh, a lot higher than 12 volts but this is the this is the cable I use for the 12 volt supply and then I've got uh, thinner cables there for the 5 volt supply and then I've got so this is the uh, temperature sensor which gets mounted and gets soldered into there so So this is the um, the wiring largely done for the board. Basically I've, I've soldered on all the cables. So you've got the control cable here for the buttons and this is, uh, is soldered in and you've got the wire here which is going to the light sensor that will be threaded through to the base and um, this cable here goes to the ambient temperature sensor which is uh, right here. So um, this board is now going to be connected to the Arduino and I'm basically going to work on the the base now so in the base now has the just going to remove those supports and thread the bolts through so so as you can see from my last video I've basically hot glued all these wires down so that when I when they are move when I move the board around the, the, the cables don't they don't actually end up moving on the joints these uh, where the cables are soldered here down to the joints are hot glued down so they can't go anywhere and just some basic hot glue here on the on the caps just to keep them in place, um, stop any vibration, 
um, going on and these boards are, are basically hot glued down just for some extra fastening so this board is ready to go it's ready to be installed into the base um, it's ready to be connected up to its Arduino and the Arduino to be programmed but before we do any of that we have to remove the supports from this um, put the bolts in and then I epoxy the bolts to the base to keep them in place and um, and then we can put this board in the base so let's go with that Right, so this is the base. All the supports have been removed, and as you can see, I've epoxied all of the bolts down in their holes. So I'm gonna leave that overnight to dry. And as you can see here, what I do is on the other side is I basically use uh, just some bolts just to keep the, the bolts secure in place whilst the epoxy is drying. It usually hardens within about five minutes, but I like to leave it at about 24 hours, and that will make this stuff rock hard and it's nice and solid and then the board here is all ready to go in it just needs to be mounted to the arduino the next thing that has to be worked on is the raspberry pi so that is this bit here i'm gonna take that out of its box as uh, some cables need to be soldered to this and the usb extension cable here which is going to extend one of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi. It needs to be soldered on, but before I solder it on, it needs to be threaded through this hole here. And that needs to be soldered on. And there has to be some other cables to solder on one of the additional USB ports, which connect to the Arduino. So basically it's a USB connection from here to the Arduino, which is housing the bike interface board. Then it's two cables for power. So that's the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi goes in first, then the uh, Arduino and um, bike interface board goes in next. However, before we do any of that, the bike interface board and the Arduino need to be coated with some pretty nasty stuff. Well, at least for humans anyway. This stuff is uh, it's basically called conformal coating. It is a waterproof, basically a, a coating, an acrylic coating for, for, for PCBs which gives them additional moisture and weather resistance, essentially just makes them, you know, waterproof and weatherproof. And I kind of coat the boards with that stuff as a backup. The enclosure itself is watertight and water waterproof from when it will be in store on your bike and, and, and on, a, on a really nasty rainy day, the water will be coming down from the top, but just in the small chance that water would get inside, then that's where the conformal coating will play its part and protect the uh, the boards from uh, moisture and, and water water damage. So all the boards are coated with that. So that's, that'll be it for this video. Next video will be mounting the Raspberry Pi, cabling up the Raspberry Pi, and mounting all of the, the boards in the, in the base, hooking up the power supply, and then finally attaching the screen. And then we can move on to final assembly.